Welcome to Live, Life Inspired Views for Every Day. My name is Chris Meyer, and I'm a curious soul. Last week, I encouraged you to think about your wound stories, reflecting on the wounds that we all carry and how we have dealt with them, and finding a gentle soul to hold our stories so we lighten the burden of carrying them with us. And here is the but, and it is this. We cannot talk about going beyond our woundedness replacing the hurt or resentment with inner peace without examining our willingness to forgive. Our sharing this story is easier than taking the next step to forgiving the one who hurt or wronged us or forgiving ourselves. Desmond Tutu said, When I talk of forgiveness, I mean the belief that you can come out on the other side a better person, a better person than one being consumed by anger and hatred. If you can find it in yourself to forgive, then you are no longer chained to the perpetrator. Forgiveness is the only way to heal ourselves and to be free from the past. Without forgiveness, we remain tethered to the person who harmed us. Hmm. One of the most powerful books on forgiveness that I know is The Book of Forgiving by Desmond Tutu and his daughter Mifo Tutu. It is so worth the read. In the book, he describes a method or process to forgiving that they call the fourfold path. The first step is telling the story, as we talked about last week. The second step is naming the hurt. The third is granting forgiveness. And the fourth is renewing or releasing the relationship. I found it interesting when he wrote about telling the story that he encouraged us to start with the facts. When I debrief trauma, the first thing we do in the process is to share the facts or the situation. Tudu described it as laying out the pieces of the puzzle. When we debrief, it allows people to get the picture or the event out of their minds and in front of them. By doing that, the trauma or hurt isn't as big as when it is alone in our minds. Verbalizing it and getting outside gives us control of it. We can size it, shape it, and look at it from different angles. In Naming the Hurt, Desmond Tutu tells us that after the facts have been laid out, then we must look at the feelings. He said, we can't let go of feelings we do not own. By giving voice to the hurts, we then can turn from being victims to stepping into freedom from resentment, anger, shame, or self-loathing that can build up inside us when we do not face our pain and learn to forgive. Brene Brown supports his thoughts when she says, in order for forgiveness to happen, something has to die. If you make a choice to forgive, you have to face into the pain. You simply have to hurt. Granting forgiveness involves three simple words. I forgive you. Simple, but often so hard to say or even so hard to mean. Granting forgiveness turns our back on being the victim and becoming embittered. Granting forgiveness allows us to tell a new story. The new story doesn't deny wrongs that have been done, but instead allows it to be told in a way, said Tutu, that is filled with courage and compassion. Finally, Desmond Tutu encouraged us to acknowledge that every relationship involving forgiveness must be then renewed or released. That was very interesting to me. There are times that because of the kind of wound, it is best to release the relationship, not having someone in our lives any longer without wishing them ill. Sometimes, it is best to release a relationship when the perpetrator is not sorry. It's refusing to allow the experience or person to take up residence in our minds or hearts any longer. Renewing a relationship is not going back to what it was, but creating a new relationship, often stronger and deeper and with renewed trust. It's a new story of a relationship that is transformed. For us to be filled with peace, we must embrace the courage to forgive. Things or words cannot be forgotten, but they can be forgiven. 
Carrying hatred or resentment ultimately causes more harm to us than to those who caused us harm. Forgiveness must constantly be practiced. Desmond Tutu wisely reminds us, with a grievance mindset, I look at the world and see all that is wrong. With a mindset of forgiveness, I become a more forgiving person. I see things with gratitude, looking at the world and seeing what is right. Hmm, so wise, isn't it? This week, on your bathroom mirror, write, In matters of hurt, I will tell the story, name the hurt, grant forgiveness, and renew or release the relationship. And I'll repeat this process whenever I'm hurt by others. Hmm. Join me next Monday for Live, Life-Inspired Views for Every Day. I'm Chris Meyer, and I'm a curious soul.